No. Michael no. Comer. Yeah. Left Carberry, like all the guys here tonight, in 1962. Uh, joined the Bank of Ireland, or National Bank, in 1964 and have worked in various places all over Ireland in the last 30, 35 years. Um, I took early retirement in 96. Uh, my wife died that year. Uh, I have four kids, three boys, one girl, two of them working in England, two of them at home, one in Dublin, one in Kerry. Uh, Who did you marry? I married a girl named Mary Tully. From? From outside Belly Haunts. Okay. And Mary died of heart failure when she was 44. Really? That was very young. It was. Very young, yeah. So you had to cope with the kids so on your own after uh, secondary school at that stage, so... Well, I, I, I decided to retire at that stage anyway, so... Uh, I was around for the years that they were at secondary school and coming and going, so... And did you do anything else? No. Just lived in the pension, yeah? And what did you think of Garbley? Your years in Garbley? I enjoyed it because I was a day boy. And I was only living outside the, the front gates on the Portumna Road. So you walked in. I walked in and walked out, and I actually knew the woods like the back of my hand because when I was growing up, we used to play cowboy, cowboys and Indians, and in and out through the the woods, and I knew the place before I went into it. Yeah. Did you get involved in sport there? Yeah. How did you play? I played on the rugby team and the hurling team, and unfortunately. We were beaten in the county final in 62 by Portumna. I think we lost by a point. Because that was nearly the first year that GA was introduced, was it? The, the it was in, introduced, well, was in, 50, who was introduced in 58. 58 Fred yes. Page took over as president mm. and he changed it that we couldn't compete. We could play rugby, but we couldn't compete in the Connacht uh, mm. Cup. So we were playing in the football and the hurling. Connacht Championship, and we had actually two a good football team and a good hurling team. Uh, but the football team couldn't get by Jarlis. Jarlis were the kingpins in Connacht at that stage. But uh, we had a good hurling team, and actually we, we we should have won that match. We were playing down in Portumna in a tight pitch, uh, and uh, we just lost by a point on the day. And he, uh, how, how the, about academically? How did you find it, Garbley? Okay. Yeah. Wasn't <laughs> looking back and it now it was limited, but at the time, sure, <laughs> it was okay. It was grand. Mm. Who were your favourite teachers there? I'd say Father Casty. Father Casty. Yeah. He was uh, like he came while it was there. I think it was during the inter sir when he came. Right. Yeah. He was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, he brought a new dimension in he teaching. He brought a yeah. new, uh, absolutely new dimension to the mm. teaching there. So he did. Yeah. For the strict. No. No, no I, I, I never had a problem. No, you, you didn't have to discipline at any stage, no? No, I'd say the borders, no. <laughs> a tougher regime, so they had day boys, you, three o'clock or whatever time you went home, and that was it. You were gone at the weekend, so you weren't stuck in there studying at night or whatever. Did you know Jay Murray? I did. He was around the corner from here, was he? He was in Jay Lucknans. was staying in uh, Lucknans, uh, just up the road. He used to uh, do a milk round, didn't he, before he went in, I think. Um, the man looked at and had a milk round, he used to uh, do the milk for the Galway Milk Company. Yeah. Because uh, we used to have the use of the van, we are going to the dance of that for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first job I ever had, actually, I got a job uh, helping a fellow called Finnerty. He used to deliver the milk for uh, Paddy Luck then. I remember the first job I got was um, a helper on his van, start at 6 o'clock in the morning. Did that for once somewhere, I'd say, when I was at home. 14 or something. Yeah, it was pocket money then. It was, it was. Money was hard to come by. So you enjoyed it all? It's a good experience. Oh, yeah. Very good experience. Oh, yeah. I must say, I know I, I can't complain. No complaints. Okay, good man. Thanks. Okay.